Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have a beautiful update coming from the folks at Twinmotion and it has to do with the new updates for Twinmotion 2022.1, the preview release 2. Now this actually solves a couple of issues most people experience while working with Twinmotion 2020.1, the preview 1. So just in case you're working with Twinmotion or you've been working with the previous release of Twinmotion, the preview 1, and you're having things like crashing when you're trying to render with an AMD card or you're having some black artifacts just because you turned on haze while using the path tracer, these have now been fixed. So for anyone who's having issues with a brand new path tracer, you might want to come through and check out some of the rendering bugs that has been fixed. And for sure, there's also a tiny set of updates that is now here. First off, the path tracer tool now contains new tooltip that explains why path tracers are not supported in certain systems. And of course, for the material substitute table, there is also a new parameter that's been added to that and the default substitute table has also been updated. Now regardless of this Twinmotion 2022.1 seems to be coming with a huge set of improvements and we've actually gone through to talk about this. Now for those who would like to get this you can simply go over to the link in the description that can bring you right here where you can download the epic launcher and from the epic launcher you'll be able to download Twinmotion 2022.1 the preview 2. Now for those who have not used Twinmotion before this is exactly what it looks like. We've already covered an extensive set of videos on the channel that deals with Twinmotion. But for the sake of those who are thinking about working with Twinmotion right now, this now looks extremely beautiful. So I do enjoy the whole path tracer feature that is here. And it just gives you a much more realistic looking render contrary to what we had previously. Now for anyone who is also thinking about, you know, playing with assets, the assets has been updated and the path tracer also works alongside with all the assets at this point. Previously, there were certain assets that this didn't actually support, but at this point, if you simply go in and drag in any vehicle, in this case, I'm dragging in this, and we hit this render button, of course, you can now see that we have this path tracing uh, thing going. So let's just go around this model so that you guys will be able to see it. And let's just tap out on the keyboard, which is a shortcut, and you can start seeing this right here. Something else, which is also very impressive for those who have no idea. We did talk about the fact that within the weather section that you can play with the weather and also get some pretty good rendering with it. Meanwhile, if you don't want to use the weather, if you go all the way back and you go down to where you have your sky dome, and let's say in this case, we would like to get a cloudy day, you can select the cloudy and from the cloudy, you would notice that we have various set of sky domes that we can throw in. And of course, if you have anyone you would like to drag in, you can simply click and drag and automatically that sky dome gets to be applied in your scene. And with a sky dome like this, you can now get even way more cooler renders by simply just playing with the properties that exist with the sky dome. And of course, hitting the render button and with the brand new path tracer, you'd also get something way better than what you can get with the default sky that comes with twin motion. So in this case, if you like to increase intensity, you like to rotate the sky, you can rotate it and you can see all the amazing kind of things that you can get with this. Some of you guys complained about vegetation and to fix this is super easy. All you need to do is go over to the setting because it actually works. So maybe you should try it again. So go over to the setting, go over to vegetation scatter, and then you notice we have a couple of vegetations that we can scatter. All of these things have been updated and improved. So you can just click on the lawn, for example, click and drag that in and you can click to select, click on this tiny button here and then go over to the surface that you want to scatter this and click. And this way you can easily just populate an entire section of your model or, you know, an entire platform with all the vegetations that you want. So if you like long grasses, you can also select that and you can throw it into the mix. I can, you know, throw in some long grasses into the mix like this. And we can also select the long grass, go over to the setting and play with the scale, which has to do with the size, all right? So you can also go ahead and play with this and also get something, you know, pretty decent. Now, one thing is for sure, the haze still doesn't work. So, you know, like we mentioned earlier, the haze still doesn't work, but then you would not be having all those artifacts that you had in previous version. So. In this case, if you go in and uh, let's go over to the light and you drag in a simple light and you drop this in here. And if you hit the render button, you definitely get a cool render. But then if you turn on the haze, you would not be able to have this rendering. So this is just one of the things that is not available yet. But regardless of that, most of the features that you will be needing actually works. And I would suggest that you go ahead and try them out. 
And something which I also love with the new update is the fact that there are more mega scan assets that you can work with. So you can go to the 3D plans if there's a certain kind of plant that you want, maybe a shrub, you can go ahead and download them. If you also would like to get some, you know, 3D asset that deals with nature, street, all that, you can also go ahead and download all of these. So in this case, if we go over to the rock, let's go over to mossy. So we have some moss rock like this. So I can just click and drag that in here and let's see what we can get. So that comes in and we can proceed to scale this one all the way up. And let's just rotate this and position this one here and see what it looks like. All right, so it doesn't look bad. And you know, with all this, you can start making some lovely stuff for yourself. If you don't like the sky dome that you have, you can always change it, all right? So you can always change it. You can pick these things and play with them, tweak them to your liking, and just, just get a perfect render for yourself. So this is more like it. For those who like to, you know, come through, test this, play with it. You know, we've already covered an extensive video about this, but for those who like to come through and check this out, maybe you like to play with it. Link to this is gonna be in the description where you would be able to go over to the folks at Epic and read up on the preview to release notes and see what and what you can get out of this. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and until I see you guys in the next video, peace.